Just a random rooster. Hello there, Mr. Rooster. Welcome back, welcome back, it's been a while. So, babe, go ahead and explain where we are today. We are at the Whistle Stop Cafe, and if you don't know what the Whistle Stop Cafe is, then you've obviously never seen fried green tomatoes. It's a southern tradition to watch that movie. Uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful movie, and this is the actual filming location where it was filmed, and we're gonna go have lunch. And that is a real rooster, yes. not even kidding. Like, <laughs> right there, you see him? <laughs> so we are gonna go enjoy some food, see these, some of the sights, and um, full transparency, I seen the movie like two hours ago. So <laughs> we saw it while we were driving here. So, but come on. I've been watching yeah. it since I was little, but I, he had to watch it to come here. Join us. <laughs> Mr. Rooster, just perched out here. Hello, you want me to go in? Here is the menu. Obviously, while we're here, we're definitely getting some fried green I tomatoes. I saw the chicken. I saw the chicken. Hi there, how y'all doing? Here is the sandwiches, the dinners, and the dessert over here by the uh, cash register. You see, unattended children will be sold as slaves. They are not playing around here. So here they bought us our drinks, and it all comes in little mason jars. Hi, Avril. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> little mason jars. Sweet tea in a mason jar. All right, baby. First impression. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's the movie. You're sitting in the middle of the movie, which is amazing. Like, <laughs> the rooster is adding a real facade because he just keeps <laughs> growing outside. <laughs> Definitely rustic. Like, it's not like a modern restaurant that was made to look not modern. It, it's exactly no. how it looks. And I've heard it gets really, really busy in here. That's what I read online, and I could understand why there's not very many people. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there may be a handful of seats here. Um, yeah, like we got here right at opening, so perfect time. Here they are. It's an order of fried green tomatoes with, I guess, a house-made sauce that they have. Um, looks yummy. yummy. All right, here it goes. Mama, is this sweet potato? That's hot. So hot. I know. Well, good. Holy cow, so good. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. I'm gonna have to set it down for a second. So good. It's so hot. It's good. I burned my lip. Like, like the sauce they serve with this? That is a, that is a really good sauce. All right, so this is the um, kids' grilled cheese, and that is a massive fried green <laughs> tomato sandwich. How potato many fried green tomatoes did Eddie also? <laughs> okay, what is the verdict on fried green tomatoes? They're delicious. Yeah. Yeah. As someone who doesn't like fried green tomatoes like me, I they were enjoyable. Really good. I mean, either with the either with the sauce or just plain. They were really good. Like, would recommend. How is your sandwich? Good. Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. So Amanda and I both ordered the Bennett barbecue, and that is a healthy portion of pulled pork on this uh, on the toasted bun. And I think you know the that they as they say in the movie, secrets in the sauce. Right. So. We shall definitely try it out. I ordered mine with some onion rings. She just got the chips, which the chips come with come with the meal as the default. Uh, but if you want to upgrade, you can go upgrade for the onion ring, which it looks like it's fried in the same batter as the fried green tomatoes, so this should be good. All right, here we go. It's good. What do you think? You like it? 
Good bar for some All right, so we finished lunch. We're gonna roam around uh, Juliet, Georgia, as it's officially called. What do you think? The food was good. We just learned something when we were checking out, which is fine. But if you come here, just know they do charge you for every drink. And I drink a lot of sweet tea, so it was like ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Every refill was another, which is strange for a lot of restaurants these days. But just to keep in mind, but the food was delicious. Yeah, but for the four of us, it was $55. So maybe a little higher on the end for lunch, but what are you going to do? But we're going to roam around, show you guys a little bit of... Uh, Juliet, Georgia, and see what else this little town has to offer. Over here is where Sterling during a big pot. <laughs> From the movie, this is the smoke pit, y'all. This is crazy that it's still here. And if you look way down there, it's Smoky Lonesome's cabin. And so if you look right out here by the smoke pit, you look down, it said here lies Frankie. Bennett of Valdosta of, Val, of Valdosta <laughs> it says the secret lies in the sauce and it's titled here here we are we're entering a store called an antique store for uh Liz oh no nice. live fearless to Wanda that's good they have a little a lot of different uh, fried green tomatoes uh, sticker. Are these magnets? No, I think these they're are magnets. Yeah, some more uh, fried green tomatoes uh, merchandise. Yeah, you have a shirt. Yeah, you have a couple of these. Uh, these are really cute. Like campfire camping style coffee mugs. And this very judgmental owl. Never been in a store with so much cast iron for sale. This is really cool. Off the corner of my eye, I was walking by. Is that a VHS for Free Willy and Matilda? Holy cow. Just cruising around the same store, I don't know. Bunch of old novelty uh, soda products here. So leaving that antique store, they had a lot of different things in there. Like, you could have just spent hours looking at all the individual things. The thing that struck me as most interesting is so much cast iron in there. I didn't realize people sold that much cast iron. It was amazing. And it was all like reasonably priced. Like, if I was in need of cast iron, I would buy it. We're gonna make our way into Whistle Stop Cafe gift shop. A whole bunch of like wine here. Oh, they have a bunch of like home, uh, I guess homemade sauces. Like they have a buffalo wing sauce here. You know, something you have to know about me is I'm a sucker for uh, hot sauce, hot sauce and pickles. Like so, I may be walking out with one of with one of these. You can tell this is a very rural southern town. Like, like. Don't steal the government hate competition. Like that's, I mean, this is some classic rural conservative America here in Juliet, Georgia. Do I own the White House? I made payments on it. So definitely a lot of whimsical uh, bumper stickers here. All right, Bella's convinced this guy moved. He did! He can't move. But he wants to play checkers with me. I saw him do this. Slide his hand back. Your move, big guy. Nope, he didn't. He didn't move. Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Juliet Substation, and it's a courthouse. So which one? So which one is it? The sheriff's office or courthouse, or both? I mean, somebody definitely had been in here because they have a window unit. Is this a functioning office? There's dust on the desk because it's been in there for a while. That's what the inside of the substation looks like. Oh. Okay, 
All right, so here I am at the outside of the honeycomb. I'm gonna show you just for scale. Like we have the honeycomb here, which is essentially the end of the or the beginning of the of the strip of the town. And right where I have my finger, that is the Whistle Stop Cafe. So, and that is the end of the strip. So, to give you kind of some scale, that is incredibly small town here, and it's probably solely being propped up by the production of that movie being done right here. We say farewell to the roosters. Hi, roosters. They're pecking at something over there. All right, that does it for us here. At, uh, Juliet, Georgia is the town. It's officially a uh, very, very small town. What do you think? So It's the cutest little town. Whistle Stop Cafe is Love it. legit. All the cute little shops. They have an array of just mosh posh and then they have lots of souvenirs of course that you can buy the the bee uh honey store at the end the honeybee honey the honeybee and that's what it's called uh they were very hospitable and talked to us and it's just this charming cute little town so if you're a fan of the movie uh, this is definitely worth going off track for because it was a ways off of our path um, headed from Florida to Tennessee. So, um, you know, if you're a fan of the movie, this is an absolute must. Um, I would actually come back here again any anytime. It was super cute. It was delicious. We had a really good time. Yeah, this was definitely a really good time and I think, you know, definitely good to, you know, take a visit out here because that, you know, the tourism is what, you know, keeps this town going and very, very small town. Definitely a really good time. I bought a <laughs> magnet and some <laughs> jelly. <laughs> that is our contribution to the local economy, <laughs> and plus our our uh, uh, eating that uh, that, that line. But yeah, thank you guys for coming along. Please comment, subscribe, like.